Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So late last week, I'll let you know that Microsoft had rolled out Edge version 136, which is now the latest release. And when I posted the video on Friday, the release notes and the change log hadn't arrived. So I basically gave you my thoughts on what I thought would be new in Microsoft Edge version 136. So as I mentioned in that video, which will be linked down below and in the end screen, that was part one. And I said I would post a part two if more information had become available. Now the release notes have rolled out and there are a couple of extra features and a fix and a security fix um, that are worth mentioning that are in the release notes that I didn't mention in that previous video. So I'm not going to rehash what I mentioned last week in part one. Go check that out if you need more info. Just a video to give you part two of what has rolled out and what's new with version 136 of Edge. Now, first of all, over and above the Chromium security fixes that rolled out last week, as I mentioned previously, we get an Edge specific security fix that's rolled out, which is a spoofing vulnerability which has been patched. So um, that's for the browser itself. And then over and above that, we get a bug fix that's rolled out where Microsoft says they fixed an issue which caused some users to unexpectedly, if we had to co-pilot in sidebar, to unexpectedly start seeing the side pane open when the sidebar was in the off state with context when clicking on Teams and Outlook links. So that's a small little niggly issue that has been fixed for some. And then we get a couple of new features that have rolled out. But just take note, these are rolling out gradually according to Microsoft. So you may see them, you may not. I'm not seeing any of these new features that have rolled out. So obviously it's region specific at this stage. First of all, Microsoft says there's a change to Microsoft Edge updates alerting where updates to Microsoft Edge will now appear as a badge on the settings and more three-dotted menu on the menu bar. So in future, when you get an update for Edge now, when an update rolls out, you should start seeing that notification on the three-dotted menu. And then Browser Essentials is now being separated into two different experiences according to Microsoft one will be called performance and the other secure network. Now these are all currently in browser essentials. So we're going to get performance and secure network, which is the VPN in two separate features now. And both will be available from the settings and more menu. So you won't just see browser essentials that will be deprecated. And in future you will see performance and secure network as two separate entities in the main menu and as mentioned if you don't see these features they are rolling out gradually according to Microsoft and then the last one to mention is that extensions is now arriving in the new settings now though I haven't got it in the stable because it's on a controlled rollout if we head over to Edge Canary I have posted on this a whole video but just a quick update here we have extensions. So there will be an entry for extensions, which will take you directly over to your manage extensions page, which I think is nice because things are starting to look and feel a lot more like Google Chrome and Microsoft's obviously trying to push Edge in that direction, try and um, lure more Chrome users over to Edge. But extensions now, that should also be starting to be visible um, in your settings. So that's just a bit of an update part two. Go check part one out if you want the full package. So that's what I can say now is more or less what's new in this latest release of Microsoft Edge version 136. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.